All right, thanks for staying with us. It's time to take a look at uh, the headlines mm -hmm. this morning. And we're being joined by TVC News senior researcher uh, Cyril Abaku uh, here to review the papers with us. Good morning. Good, Good morning. to see you. Thank you, lady. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Welcome. All right, let's begin with the punch. Uh, Saraki, other National uh, Assembly leaders hold emergency meeting today. Uh, presidency fears shutdown, urges immediate resumption. And uh, Southeast senators blame Ndume for Ekweremadu's travails. All right, let's stick to uh, this uh, uh, National Assembly uh, emergency meeting today. Mm, I think yeah. what came out yesterday, um, that Taraki had convened an emergency session of the National Assembly mm. to discuss pressing national issues. Mm -hmm. um, we have the INEC budget um, um, mm -hmm. issue on, on, on the one waiting. hand. Yeah, uh, the environment of funds again. Um, and then, of course, on the other hand, people are also saying that, look, this may also be an opportunity for them to meet eye to eye on the question of impeachment and how many law, uh, lawmakers are on the side of um, APC, APC and, and how, how many, many lawmakers on the, on the side of yeah. it's important i mean you 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 can't take it away so for me i think on on there are, there are two key pillars on which this meeting is going to be held one is policy issues mm -hmm. because the federal government is saying that if money is not released in time there may be a shutdown, shutdown of government, of government. Mm -hmm. yesterday ahmed laman met with the vice president yes. with and so on and they had another meeting to discuss you know um how to avert what they call um a looming shutdown. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, when they meet today, they, they will be able to put their political differences aside. Do you think there will be horse trading mm. in this meeting? Will there be time for that, for things to be settled? You can't, say, you can't, this is, what you I, can't, this is what you get and this is what I get. Of course, you, you can't, you can't take it away. And I'm seeing, you know, you know we, we, we are in an era where all kinds of things happen. INEC is asking for 242, right? Yes. yes. I yeah. wouldn't be shocked if, the, if, if that figure is altered one, one way or the other. Now, the fact is that um, like I said, politics and then policy. Mm. Mm. Before now, Saraki had met with leaders of the party and the presidency. Yes. The president's memo to affect this, this environment mm -hmm. was sent in July 17th. Mm -hmm. Discussions about delay didn't come up. Until? Discussions, what, what we had were that we had talked about giving Saraki some carrots and mm -hmm. why he said that he wouldn't affect and so on. But now we're hearing that if uh, what wasn't discussed at an earlier meeting is discussed on the letter that there will be a government shutdown. Government shutdown. Well, you so know what, Cyril, don't <laughs> confuse us any further than you have well, already. Well, let's just okay, wait for that meeting yeah, to be held to, and to see what's Let's find yeah, out exactly what... Uh, Afterwards. Obasanjo laid foundation for bad leadership in Nigeria. That's Oshoba. according to former governor of Ogun State, Oshoba. Mm. Hmm. Honestly, when I saw that headline, I was like, you guys, leave us alone. Let, let, let this country move forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know. I think we but don't they say that, that he, he uh, who lives in glass house she shouldn't don't throw, throw stones? stones. Our didn't lay the foundation. Look, mm. since after the Civil War, okay, a particular elite came up. And like somebody rightly pointed out um, in his column on Sunday. The class of 62? El elite impunity is the problem. Look at how people are campaigning for office. Mm. Only one person, I won't mention his name because I can't campaign for him. Only one person is taking his message to the people directly. Mm. All the other aspirants are going from governors to governors, godfather to godfather. And we are seeing mm. this thing mm. be in broad daylight. Mm -hmm. Where has anybody who wants to rule over or wants to lead about 200 million Nigerians, is uh, he, he's going after people who have just one vote. Of go. course, we can agree that they are that, that the opinion leaders, but quite frankly speaking, I think leadership in this country has been based on how people come together in Kahoot. Mm. and just you know loot our mandates yeah and it goes on and on the reign of the few simple absolutely okay uh defection akwabio meets tinubu in abuja that would be of course is, that's the second time he'll be meeting with uh who uh, tinubu. Akwabio. That's all akwabio. uh we, you know we, the thing we, is we're we're waiting for this look, defection as, as, as Saraki to the pdp <laughs> mm -hmm. so also akwabio <laughs> to the fpc it's a done deal <laughs> I think it's according to lai mohammed is mm. one one Oh, exactly. <laughs> All right. Scores now. Woman fakes own kidnap, demands 15 million ransom from husband. I mean, can you beat that? And why would she do that? Okay, very good no. question. And thousands evacuated after dozens die on Indonesia island. Mm -hmm. uh, Tanzania appoints Amuneke as national team coach. Mm -hmm. All theft, 10, jailed for 12 years, forfeit ship uh, to federal government. And Lagos trader running from Scorpion falls into a 100 feet well. Mm -hmm. uh, very sad very one. Very frying pan to fire. Yeah. We'll go to the nation newspaper. The major story, of course, expectedly uh, is on uh, Gozula Pabio. Uh, Pabio Tinubu meet as PDP threatens action presidency no terms attached constituents vow to reclaim seat now let's, let's talk about uh, reclamation of seats because PDP is talking about uh, the need for that if he defects eventually he would have to vacate his seat uh, and then of course we are hearing that the constituents mm -hmm. are vowing to reclaim their seat 
Because PDP says there is no crisis within their party, so why would he want to defect without expecting to, mm. of course, vacate his position? As, as if we are, we are truly in a, in a civilized political dispensation. They will block mm. it. Okay. All right, let's just move on. You know, there's something about th that, that, that aspect. Those things that will have that, that would have led to his to, to his to his to him losing his seat mm -hmm. will be swept away. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just wait and see. I will come down here. Uh, National Assembly leaders meet ahead lawmakers recall. Uh, Senate leader briefs Oshimaju already talked about that. Mm -hmm. uh, tribunal grants Fayemi access to electoral materials. Now, this is just a precursor to uh, the trial that is being uh, that is going to hold anyway at the tribunal because some people, a party is questioning uh, his announcement as the winner of the Ikiti gubernatorial poll. Well, um, that is fine. Again, we have to resort to institutions to, to seek redress, which mm -hmm. is also, It's a good way yeah, to go. But personally, personally, I think that um, whatever the, the, the prosecution will, um, will, will bring to the court, mm -hmm. they will have to prove beyond reasonable, reasonable doubt. doubt. Mm -hmm. they will have to, I know why I say so. They will have to yeah. prove mm -hmm. it properly. So let's, point. let's just look okay. at that. Yeah. How nine NYC members died in Taraba, three-day mourning announced, uh, of course, was mm. announced by the NYC, the rest in peace, so yeah. reason was given uh, for the rise of the water tide. Rest of the story, woman kidnapped self-daughter to flee's hobby of 15 million naira. U.S.-China trade wars push up oil prices. Dignitaries celebrates Ray Epu at 17. 17, one of the foremost journalists yes. in yes. Nigeria, of, of his the contemporary mm -hmm. of uh, Dele Giwa mm. there. All right, the, to the Daily Sun, Southeast lawmakers spit fire over Ikwere Madu. Uh, that's the deputy Senate president. Of course, they've been actually blaming uh, Lynn Dume for uh, Ikwere Madu's uh, travails in the uh, Senate. Well, there are, there are two in this. Uh, okay, fine, but there, there, are, there, are, there are ways to look at this. Mm. You know that most of these institutions, the EFCC, the ICPC, what normally happens is that if you're in someone, if you're if you're in the good books of of the of the mm -hmm. of the of the kingmakers, mm -hmm. if I should call them that, your sins will be forgiven. Mm -hmm. They said maybe they will say that they are still gathering evidence, or they are still investigating, yeah. but the witnesses didn't come to court. Mm -hmm. One from one blood to the next blood, you know, it 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 will mean like that. And I think that for Akwabio too, he's about to go into that um, <laughs> club. But the fact is that you see. If there are legal grounds for anybody's infractions before the law, it is beyond question whether somebody is instigating it or not. Mm. Yes. But on the other hand, I, for, for me, I think that if it's, if it's as per his senatorial um, 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 well-being on the floor of the house, I think that so far, having been properly aligned to Saraki, I mean, for coming from the PDP and mm -hmm. then becoming the deputy senate president, yes. I think it's something that is that, 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 that's worth a bet in the hand. Okay. For him as a person. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Saraki Dogara, INEC to reach compromise. Meet on 2019 elections budget. Projects uh, violent, non assent to amended electoral act. Oshibajo, Senate Majority Leader Pali. Okay. Uh, legendary Ray Pu Clock 70. We want to say happy birthday happy to uh, birthday. Mm -hmm. Ray Pu right there. Obasanjo to blame for Nigeria's leadership wars, Oshoba. Akwabio to join APC, says Buhari's aid. So it's a done deal, obviously. Mm. It's a done deal. It is a done deal. 116 Nigerians in Libyan slave camps, and that's according to the federal government. Mm. Then you want to ask the question, what exactly are we doing to bring them <laughs> Uh, back home and beyond that to stop this mass exodus of Nigerians it, you know, you know it, if, if, if I may speak on this a bit mm. um, I think that this is the real shame of Nigeria there was a report recently that said that in the UK Nigeria, two of Nigerian doctors are hired every week okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it shows that we have capacity we have manpower we have the, both the, the quantity and the quality Absolutely. That can transform Nigeria. Yeah. But you see, let's liken this to when, for instance, a leader like Franklin Roosevelt came to power in the U.S. There was mm -hmm. the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. How did they come out of it? There yeah. were broad sweeping reforms. Yes. As I speak with you, even uh, even if you bring back another 1,000 people from Libya, there does not seem to be any commitment to, or even any forego, any 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 serious ongoing policy, policy direction or policy development to say, look, how do we arrest this drift? Mm. Because there's nothing worse than, look, you may say people are stealing money in government. Mm. It, it's one thing. Mm. But, but where are your youth, your young people are leaving your country in droves. The future they of the country. No the future of the country. Future. And see, look, if, when, when you bring this, and it, it comes out to one thing. 
there is no guarantee for social justice in Nigeria. Look at it. Mm. And I you know, when, when you even recall that in the 70s, the average Nigerian who went abroad to go to school, as soon as they graduated, we'll come they came back home we'll with the next available back. flight. No, you look at this. Because even they felt there was something to look forward up, up to. Recall, back home. recall the guy we had uh, on, on this show, that one of those that were, that were rescued from Libya, yes. uh, from mm -hmm. Edo State. Mm -hmm. And when, he, when we asked him, he said he would still go back. Of course, still go back. He would still go back, but not through any society. And the borders. Many, 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 many people go this way. Sometimes they even can do very many other jobs. Okay? Mm. But they are looking for a place where even when you say it is tough, up, there is equality. Exactly. There yeah. is social equality. You know, equality. you can't even overemphasize well, right. right. over the fact on. that there are quality Nigerians. I, I recall Bayo Ogulesi, for example, the Nigerian who owns Gatwick Airport. Mm. And he has done so many great can, things. Can and there's so many we have great to move on. We have to move on. We have to move on. We have to move on at this point. The Vanguard newspaper now. Saraki Samon's emergency meeting of National Assembly leaders. Leaders to meet with INEC 2. Pre presidency raises the alarm over possible shutdown of government. Mm -hmm. We must reconvene as quickly as possible. That's Lawan. And no cover for corrupt politicians, Lai Mohammed. I think that seems to be uh, the story that, mm -hmm. that got from what you said earlier, <laughs> that once you defect, all is forgiven. Yeah. Well, the information minister is saying that it doesn't give you any Sh cover. Shall we forget something here? Mm -hmm. You know, that plot, everything, I mean, so, so much goes around now by way of rumor. But the plot was that Saraki would have been impeached on that day. And then the the Senate would have been postponed, where we, 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 would 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 have we, gone we, on uh, would have been adjourned mm -hmm. this this same way. So in the end, it's it's about wh wh whoever wins makes the loser look 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 a particular way, or whoever loses makes it's the winner look a particular way. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. all right. Uh, 2019, Atiku to Raki turns south south southeast to battlegrounds, uh, and it's even in more interesting now that uh, we got to the affection of the likes of uh, Senate President Bukola Saraki into the party and saying that they are trying to penetrate the southeast and south south. Yes, because if you want to win the presidency in Nigeria, you either take the north, divide the south. Or take, or the, take south, the south, divide, divide the, the north. north. Mm -hmm. So that's how it, it, um, 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 it, it, it happens. 20, uh, the latest one we had was, was the north and then, the, and then divide it divided the south. south. So I think that um, Saraki, in fact, all those in the PDP who are not saying the ambition of the president have seen that they can fairly unite the south south and the southeast into a common block and then see what they can do. Yeah, you know, so they want to take advantage of that. And so, okay. so if they succeed in doing that, well, fine. But as it stands, um, as, as, as it stands today, mm -hmm. I, um, it, it looks like both Buhari and whoever will take, will take the PDP ticket will have to divide both the north and the south. Mm. Well, Buhari yeah. himself is looking towards the southeast, uh, you know. Okay, uh, mean, moving on. What else do you have there? Well, on tapped <laughs> yes. Most Some agencies are already enough. coming up. Exactly. You know, to That's look at South East. That's why I'm promises that yeah. if uh, he gets uh, the, 20, the second term, mm -hmm. then if someone if from that region would be given the ticket. You know what, let me just leave it. Let's leave it. Let's just leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> NYC declares three-day mourning for yeah. nine drowned core members. Mm. Fabio, PDP senators commence search for replacement to regret his choice as leader. MNPC International International Bank signed three billion dollars finance deals, and of course that's just uh, that's on the NYC, Okay, uh, NYC three yes, million. Yeah, on, on the NYC, the it's okay if they collect three dollars of money. Mm -hmm. That's so much. That, that that's what the NYC can do. But I think that again, um, Gashaka mm -hmm. is a major landmark in this country. Mm -hmm. um, you have all kinds of landmarks across the nation. It's it's only normal that when. Um, NYC people are more or less also tourists within, uh, within, within, within the country. Mm -hmm. They like to explore, they like to see how you know, things are, uh, are going on within their, 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 their environment. Yeah. I don't know if as of now there is a code for guiding people who want to seek fun. Fun shouldn't always go so. Yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately, it was this just one that, you really know, did go this, this, this woman, but I, yes. I understand that there are more than 20 of them who were... About 22 mm -hmm. of them were by mine. Like, mm. we, 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 we sympathize with, with, with the families. But we yes. hope that you know we can we can guide our, our young people who want to seek fun. Yeah, Make we sure really hope so. And uh, to hear that so 95 cool. of the uh, deaths of NYC members actually uh, have to do with road accidents, mm -hmm. a really very unfortunate situation. Uh, our last paper this morning, of course, is this day. PDP fixes 12 million naira as 2019 presidential nomination form fee. Okay, that's mm -hmm. uh, a reduction from uh, the. Is it 15 million? I think so. Oh, yeah, about 20? Yeah. About that? Mm. No, so, okay. Okay. so we're making that, progress. Which means they're looking to expand the field, mm. make more money from it, and then see how they can 
Whatever it is. Oh, is it about making more money? I'm not a partner, or making it more reasonable? <laughs> okay, let's leave it then. FG may shut down on less national assembly. Making more millionaire. Simple. Uh, <laughs> Okay, FG may shut down unless National Assembly reconvenes one's uh, presidency. Uh, what else do we have here? Despite improved rainfalls, power supply remains below 4,000 megawatts. Well, this seems to be contradictory to what we, we heard uh, from the power minister uh, <laughs> earlier that, uh, that said it was increased to 7,000 7, megawatts. Which, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> FG may begin 2018 capital release this week. I mean, it would have been more delightful if we heard that the federal government has already released, not that they may, because now this is uh, it's not even certain. Which is this again? FG may begin 2018 capital releases this week. It should have come long before now. Long before now. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, that's it. Thank you very much, our senior researcher here at TVC. We'll let you go now, of course, but we'll still have you back later on mm -hmm. to talk about Venezuela. Thank you.